Good morning, dear listener. Uh, it's a joy to once again have you join us in the EBZ um, Devotion Hour. Um, my name is Joseph, and it's my pleasure to be taking us this week through Hebrews 11. Uh, we will consider what is famously known as uh, the Hall of Faith. If you have a little bit of familiarity with North American sports, um, you would be aware of them getting to have the Hall of Fame. And it's basically just a listing of, you know, uh, characters who've been most impactful to any given sport uh, so that they have the Naismith Basketball Memorial, uh, you know, Hall of Fame. And uh, uh, there's a kind of a thing uh, that we would uh, probably say, you know, compares uh, when we turn our focus to Hebrews 11, um, one of uh, perhaps the most beloved passages of scripture and how it just uh, spurs our faith. We know that we are a, a, a people of faith, faith uh, defined for us, Hebrews 11, 1, um, you know, as the assurance of things hoped for uh, and the convictions of things not seen. Uh, certainly, uh, when we consider that we are a people who uh, in many ways can be described as an already not yet people, uh, you know, people who um, already attained something uh, for salvation is now and um, and you know that the Lord's promises um, even now are being experienced and yet people who are still yearning, um, who are looking forward to more, we, Paul says in Romans 8, um, you know that we uh, we are still groaning even with the rest of creation as though we're in the pains of childbirth um you know for for what is to come for um the revealing of uh, the sons of god for the redemption of our bodies um uh, that has grown into you know uh, quite easily one of my very uh, favorite passages of scripture and just how it gets my eyes off uh, this present hour and, and and focuses me on what is yet to come and how it gives sense even and meaning to what is happening presently because uh, the Lord is doing his work even presently. Uh, so, you know, turning our focus to Hebrews, um, I'm, I'm going to read probably for us just quickly uh, from verses 1, uh, you know, of Hebrews 11 down to 6 uh, because that's probably where we're going to spend up our time this morning and then uh, we will have uh, you know some some six more days to just cover the rest of the chapter um, and glean as much as we can from it and so scripture says that now faith is the assurance of things hoped for the conviction of things not seen for by it the people of old received their commendation by faith we understand that the universe was created by the word of god so that what is seen was not made out of things that are visible. By faith, Abel offered to God a more acceptable sacrifice <coughs> than Cain, sorry, through which he was commended as righteous, God commending him by accepting his gifts. And through his faith, though he died, he still speaks. By faith, Enoch was taken up so that he should not see death, and he was not found because God had taken him. Now before he was taken, he was commended as having pleased God, and without faith, it is impossible to please him, for whoever would draw near to God must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seek him. Uh, what beautiful words, brothers and sisters, when we you know, consider just the very fact that our faith, uh, even though, yes, we speak of the Christian faith, um, you know, inaugurated for us um, at the dawn of the New Testament when Christ came and he uh, died for his bride and redeeming his church and, and, and just beginning establishing, you know, the church uh, uh, through the apostles uh, who, along with the prophets um, in Ephesians, are spoken of as the foundation upon which we are built. Uh, uh, that that it's sometimes easy to overlook, uh, you know, just uh, the, the whole evidence, evidence, um, a, a, a very vast evidence of of faith in the Old Testament that the believers of the Old Testament <clears throat> pleased God in no other way, um, uh, you know, uh, different from how we please Him um, in this day uh, that they uh, hoped in Him in the very same way that we do uh, that 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 you know. When, when, when scripture speaks of salvation being by, uh, by, by grace, um, uh, you know, through faith, uh, that this was very 
much as true for them even though yes they lived in in times when uh, they would go to the temple and they would um, you know even before the temple they would offer sacrifices at these high places um, uh, as many uh, you know altars as say Abraham and and Isaac and, and Jacob erected uh, that all these things happened by faith um, indeed uh, look at verse 2 uh, just speaking about nothing really uh, our understanding of of God creating of of the very beginning of the universe uh, is something that we understand by faith, and and that's the premise from which we begin. Uh, that the world would, would would almost want to push us ever, you know, to give logic for 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 the claims of Scripture. Um, um, and 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 um, fair enough, you know, science as well. Um, it begins from a place of faith, um, you, you know, and of course, science, we, we should never suppose that science, for example, conflicts um, with, with, with Christianity, uh, but science begins from a place of faith, the assumption that there was um, even you know, a big bang um, uh, and, and that distorted version of science uh, that, that scientists will be pushing for us to accept as the origin of, of man and of creation. Um, um, it, it all starts from a point of faith. Their premise uh, is not going to uh, be self-validating, so to speak. And yet ours as well begins from a place of faith. And, 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 and the writer to the Hebrews says, hey, this is how we understand uh, that, that creation was made. Um, you know, for the people of old uh, received um, their commendation by faith. He says so in verse 2 and verse 3, uh, that by that we understand that the universe was created by the word of God, uh, so that what is seen was not made out of things that are visible. Um, uh, and we appreciate the word, of course, in John even, uh, you know, um, uh, when um, when when John would say that in the beginning was the Word and the Word was God and the Word was with God, uh, so again uh, bringing Christ uh, into the picture that He existed uh, from eternity past and He was there uh, that indeed through Him and to Him and for Him were all things that by Him nothing you know unless by Him nothing was created. Uh, so everything basically created by His power by the very speech of God and, and God speaking and, and it all coming into existence. Um, but you proceed further down to verse 4 and, and we see Abel, um, you know, um, uh, the brother of Cain, offering to God a more acceptable sacrifice than Cain. Um, uh, now sometimes a whole deal is made of you know, the, the, the difference in the sacrifices that they offered. Um, uh, sometimes uh, people <coughs> uh, have made a huge deal of, hey, uh, you got to bring to God the, the best. And so uh, meat would please him uh, a ton more than, uh, than you know, um, uh, the, the vegetables and grain offering that, say, Cain would have offered. Um, but let's not be quick to conclude so because we look at the Old Testament and there's all the evidence that God accepted uh, the fast fruits and, and you know, um, if the first fruits of anyone were, uh, were grains, if the first fruits of anyone were, were, were vegetables, God welcomed, more than welcomed that. And he pleased in that and he blessed his people because of that. So it wasn't really on account of, you know, what uh, what kind of sacrifice they had brought, uh, but, but the betterness, uh, so to speak, of the sacrifice was in the very fact that, uh, you know, whatever was happening in the heart of either and 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 Abel is 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 pleasing to God, uh, just as the writer would say, you know, Father, um, a, a little later down in, um, should be verse six that uh, without faith no one would please him, and so Abel is found, um, you know, his sacrifice is found acceptable because of uh, the faith that he had in his heart as he was offering uh, his sacrifice that now is deemed better. So that um, it's 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 the faith, it's the um, you know that that's like the main thing. It's not the sacrifice. Uh, if Abel had offered the, the vegetables and Cain had offered, um, you know, the, uh, the, the, the sheep, uh, if, if, if the reverse were true, that Cain was the man who um, tended to flock and Abel was the man who grew um, vegetables in the field, uh, still Abel's sacrifice would have uh, gained the commendation that he did because of faith. And we must appreciate just as well uh, that this faith was 
um, uh, in many ways a gift. Uh, um, the example of Abel and, and Cain, you know, in scripture stands for us to validate what Paul says to the Ephesians that um, even this very faith is a gift from God so that no one would boast. Uh, you look at the two, Abel and Cain, um, uh, we are not told much of, of their um, you know, of, of what they did. And it's just as though, hey, God was pleased to um, put faith in the heart of one and not in the heart of the other. And, and, and God would, you know, would be pleased to accept the sacrifice of one and not the sacrifice of the other. And we're seeing just what our scripture teaches concerning election to be true as we <coughs> examine those passages. And so <coughs> anyways, <coughs> uh, sorry for that. Uh, just faith being the very instrument through which God would be working and, and, and that we get to please him. Uh, and, and Enoch as well, um, you know, is seen to be taken up so that he should not see death. Um, on account of his faith, him having walked in a manner that pleased the Lord. Um, again, just God being merciful, extending such grace to one of his children that he should not taste death. Um, what a what a beautiful thing! What a glorious thing that no one, uh, you know, saw Enoch um, uh, you with him <clears throat> today and and tomorrow. You know, uh, tomorrow he's gone and and he's gone to be with the Lord and he didn't die. Uh, that that as uh, such a miracle would even happen and and it wasn't because of anything. Uh, that is not unique to Enoch and 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 not you know um, applicable to us. It was because of this very same thing of which we speak, the faith that was found in his heart, the faith that he placed in in this God that they judged him true and faithful and good, as we will later learn, even as we get to look at our subsequent characters in this passage that we are examining. So the uh, you know our portion closes with saying that without faith, it is impossible to please him. For whoever would draw near to God must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seek him. And and and, and dear listener, that, that would be my challenge to you. Um, uh, you know, just to ask you the question that uh, do you suppose in your heart, um, you know, if you evaluate, would you uh, truly say that you possess this faith uh, without which it would not be possible to please God? And I don't say that to mean it's something uh, that you would work in you that you would will in you forget not uh, that you know it's 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 um a blessing and it's a gift uh, from god uh it's 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 the point from which you begin um and do you have such faith as to look forward to things that you're hoping for even though you haven't seen them of course i'm not talking necessarily material things uh you know that you're hoping for a better job and 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 a pay raise and 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 you're hoping for a child and all these things uh, I mean, you look at these people, um, it's not as though these things were wrong uh, to seek, and yet their hearts were set on something better, as we even will get to appreciate tomorrow, uh, you know, in the in the next discussion that we'll get to have. Uh, so my challenge to us is that we would trust in God, uh, that we would seek to please Him, uh, that we would pray uh, that we'd be a people endowed with faith, such faith as would please Him, and and and, and be blessed to even get to see Him. Uh, to, to long for the day of Christ's return, uh, that we might be united with him as his children. Thank you for listening in, and I look forward to a time once again tomorrow. The Lord bless you.